I often see complaints that young people just don't read books anymore. But today's episode of Erudite Magic is proof positive that that is not true. There are many people out there learning about magic books every day. And the cool part is, they're not just learning the latest books, they're learning from past masters, which we've talked about extensively here on this channel. And in this episode, we're going to have the chance to see both of those scenarios, an older book being reviewed by a younger performer and student of magic. His name is Dominique Miles, and you may know him already through his Instagram and YouTube channel. If you haven't already, give him a follow. He's passionate about magic books, and we need to support that. He's been reviewing a lot of old-time classic magic books. He loves card magic, and I've been watching him consistently chip away at talking about these books. I asked him if he would be interested in a collaboration. He said yes, and here is his review of Close-Up Card Magic by Harry Lorraine. Hey my friends, welcome back to another book discussion. Today I'm very excited to talk about a book that not only teaches you good, strong and classical card magic, but more importantly shows you how to entertain your audience, taking your overall magical performance to the next level. Today I'll be discussing Close-Up Card Magic by the late but great Harry Lorraine. So here's a brief history of the author. Harry was born in May 1926 in New York and unfortunately passed away in April this year, making him 96 years old. In his lifetime, he appeared on various talk shows and TV specials, which is where he became well known for his card magic and books on memory. So moving on to the book itself, it was published in 1976 and was in fact the first magic book that Harry Lorraine produced. The book contains 272 pages with five chapters containing around 75 effects, most of these effects being his and some of them being contributed by his various friends. The foreword also being written by Di Vernon. So moving on to a brief summary of the chapters. Chapter 1 contains explanations for moves and slights such as the Jog, Hindu and Pharaoh Shuffle which will be used throughout the book. And this takes us into chapter 2 which is titled Effective Card Mysteries. This chapter contains routines such as Lorraine's Ambitious Card, Out of This Universe, Take Me to Your Leader, which is an Ace Assembly, Saltless, and Apex Aces, which is by Frank Garcia. Chapter 3 is titled Novel Card Mysteries. Some of the effects that I enjoyed from this chapter were Revolving Aces, which is where the spectator stops you on four random face down cards, which end up being the four aces. There's also an effect called Fortitude, which uses fairer shuffles. There's a really great control called the spread control. Ricky Jay uses this in his performance of the 52 assistants. One of Harry's friends, Jay Benzeas, also gives us his touches on card through table. Moving into chapter four, which is titled Unique Card Tricks. This chapter contains routines such as Lorraine's Poker Deal, Vernon's Aces, which is an ace control, Blackout, which is a trick that is performed totally in the dark, as well as the lazy man's card trick and a great move called the push through change. And finally, chapter five contains various routines that utilize the Paul Curry turnover change. So if you are looking to buy this book firsthand, unfortunately, Close Up Card Magic has been out of print for many years. However, it's a must have. So I strongly recommend you go to your secondhand book groups on Facebook, or even better, go to Don's Magic and Books to find yourself a copy. So the reason that I believe this book is a must have is that if you want to stand out and be different in this modern era of magic, you have to go back and study the classics which have stood the test of time. And through reading and studying the effects and their presentations from these classical books such as Close Up Card Magic, you receive a blueprint of what it looks like to entertain an audience effectively, therefore allowing you to learn how you yourself can entertain the audience in your own and unique way. This episode of Erudite Magic is brought to you by Don's Magic and Books. Don is a perfect place to shop if you're looking for two things. One, great magic books, and two, terrific deals on those great magic books. He carries all of the latest books that you would expect to find from a magic book seller, but what Don has that most other sites don't is a collection of used and sometimes out of print magic books. So when you're looking for something that's harder to find, but you need to find it at a good deal, Don's Magic and Books is the place to go. He also offers free shipping if you meet certain minimum thresholds in the United States. I don't know what you're waiting for. Head over to his website, which I will link down in the description below. And start shopping with Don's Magic and Books this week.
Great, let's uh, let's try this out. So uh, this is a, a cool little punchy effect that I like to do to uh, get get into my performance. It's nice and short and sharp. So uh, <laughs> right, right, Jeff, I'm gonna go through the, the the pack. Would you mind just calling out a stop for me, please? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Stop. There. Have a look yep. at that cop. Perfect. Okay, so. So I did forget to mention, this is an interesting pack of cards. They're actually called automatic cards. Um, and the reason they're automatic is that if you uh, wind them up like so and leave them for a moment, it's actually possible for those cards to uh, flip in midair. But not only that, split at one card in the pack, that card just happening to be your selection. The that king. is my card. That's the king of spades. Well done. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well done. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's almost like a, um, it reminds me of a, a haunted pack, but just done like uh, on your hand. Like it, it almost cuts yeah. itself and flip it. That's cool. For sure. It's a beautiful effect. It's a beautiful effect. And it's quick and, and it tells people too that you can do something they haven't seen with a pack of cards. I don't think I've ever seen anybody flip a pack of cards on their hand and it cut to, mm. you know, the, the selection. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed that performance as well as my discussion of Close-Up Card Magic by Harry Lorraine. If you want to find out more about this book, I recommend checking out a video that Michael Vincent published on YouTube, as well as going to the Conjuring archives. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Now, one thing I'll point out is that Dominique mentioned that the book was published in the 70s. That's because his version was published in the 70s. The original, however, was published in 1962. And if you're interested in procuring your own copy, it's pretty hard to find the book in print as a standalone volume. However, Harry Lorraine did publish the Classic Collection Volume 1, which contains not only close-up card magic, but also personal secrets, my favorite card tricks, dexterity, and some other stuff in here. This is still available. Often you can find print copies, but I know that his website is selling PDF copies, and I highly recommend the contents of this book. If you want to see my review of that material, you can check it out here. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed um, the interview that Jeff and I had, and you also enjoyed my book discussion. Uh, make sure that you go find your copy of Close-Up Card Magic. Um, but till next time, keep reading.